Hello everybody, welcome to the BBSL Grand Final. We've got Andy Davo here who has won the toss up against Seabros. We've got Dark Elves versus Necromantic and the Dark Elves are kicking off. Andy has chosen to receive. Will he just start off by banging out half of the Dark Elves on turn one? Probably. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Jimmy. And it is raining. So this is a spicy receive the ball. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Uh, Andy's got the weird hats for his zombies on the Necro. So it makes it nice and clear who, who who's in what position. Yes. Um, we have seen this game once before in the group stage and it was a 1-0 win for Andy but it was a very close run thing could have gone either way and uh, hoping for a repeat of a match of that quality yeah yeah fingers crossed it's not a comedy mega dicing because uh, if it is it will be a little bit sad I don't like this from C Bros. Uh well the quick snap disrespect yeah. well just the instant surf the instant surf is it's the bait, isn't it? It's, the surf it's bait. not a bait. David's just going to surf him instantly. I mean, he could surf the witch as well. If on a quick snap, he could just surf a witch, right? Yeah, I mean, he can surf everything on a quick snap. Everything. <laughs> on a quick snap, he can surf. He can surf both. He can. He can. He can surf the blitzer and the witch on a quick snap. This is uh, not what I would do. Who can see if it's good or bad? I mean, you say that, Jim. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, okay, right, good. See, Bros, his brain has started working, <laughs> and he's decided not to do a gym. Yeah, you say that, Jim. I would not get my whole team served in the first two turns. I mean, well, hey. you know. Yeah. I'm going to pay some attention to how he sets up this necro. He normally hits with the walls. Uh, yeah, yeah, maximize your banging. Yeah, it's two wolf hits, no blitz. Is he gonna blitz with a wraith? Maybe. D Dave always maximizes the banging, and uh, you know, I think. Well, so this is the thing, right? You know, saying about how whether you know whether well, this is very weak to a blitz. Yeah, he's moved. Oh, uh, this is why. This is why he was looking at the square forward. I think to kind of cause frenzy traps for him. Hmm. But then, obviously, he can't bring them forward and not... Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, I think, like, you know, because at the end of the day, right, like, people who are rating people based on what they think is right, isn't it? And so I think in the past I've, like, viewed the, you know, greedy banging, if you like. I think that was what you said about Andrew, wasn't it? <laughs> um, greedy right. banging. Oh, yeah, this is what Eddie Otto is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I always viewed that as kind of greedy banging as being not a good thing, but now I think it probably is a good thing, so I think that's interesting. But Dave Ott generally prioritises the banging, and honestly, against, like, a good coach, that's your best way to win, isn't it? Like, you know... It is. Yeah. If you're going to draw, you're going to draw most of the time, right? It's where Sol and I are Ooh. finding out we're very close, and the, the games where you bang somebody out is, is the ones you're most likely to win. Oh, he's caught it in the rain. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Instantly secured. That was, like, the scariest part of the drive for Devo, to be fair. Gets yep. the power, doesn't expose his wolf, gets the armor break, Removal. just as KO. Yep. Whoa, great start for Mr. Devo. Maybe should have Apple or that C roll, we'll see. Yeah, it's a KO, though, that's the thing, isn't it? It's a KO. Yeah. We've got another two guys to get hit, yeah. <laughs> but it's a turn one KO. So the only thing it better is, is like, it's is. badly hurt. A, t a first half badly hurt. Right? Yeah, I mean the KO staying on the pitch is badly hurt, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So it's got to be kind of a first half badly hurt because if it's a second half badly hurt, it's basically you've got nothing from that, unless it goes to overtime. So yeah, the first half badly hurt is a pretty good, uh, first half uh, KO is first turn KO is a pretty good time to use your apple. Both downs with both walls is really nice for Dave yeah, as well. Huge. I mean, he doesn't have to expose anything, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He can blitz is. with this other Wraith now as well, so he's blitzing with Block. Block. Block, yep. Yeah. Oh, doesn't put the assist in, so he's not blitzing with Block. Or he's blitzing with Block. No, he's not. No, he's not. You unsupported. Gets the pal. <laughs> the Wraith, <laughs> Just a stun. 
It's still an KO, pretty great start. It's a nice shape here as well. Yep. Both wolves sandwiched in between two guards. Getting the high kick and the catch was just amazing because that's where that's where he's gone wrong in other games, right? He's he's been too greedy on the LOS, making the blocks, maximizing blocks on the LOS, then he's left the ball unprotected in the backfield and now he's not only is it not unprotected, he's also, you know, automatically picked it up. So yeah, Seabros is in a lot of trouble now. A lot of trouble. Yeah, what's it? He can't put an assist in on this zombie on the left without leaving a surf on either. Yeah. So like he can't even really blitz that zombie. No. And then the only other option is blitzing the stand firm golem, which you have to put two assists in. Yeah. And it's yeah, and then it's going to leave you a little bit weak through the middle. So it's this is a bit of a nightmare for people. He could one D blitz the zombie, and that's not even worth it. So I'd say just don't blitz. Just don't even blitz. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. Because you've only got one reroll, right? And a skull is terrible, so I would just wouldn't even blitz here. Got two rerolls. Sorry, I mean, if you rerolled it, you'd be left with one. Oh, okay, all right. So Sorry, I mean. Jim. Yeah, no, that's what I, that is what I meant. I just, I, I spoke like an idiot, but that's what I was saying. Like, you can't afford to go down to one reroll, so therefore you can't reroll it. So it would just be, you know, two, like, it just seems terrible to, to do that blitz. So I just wouldn't blitz at all here. Oh, it's so it's so tempting to blitz though. Yeah, it is. It is really tempting to blitz. I probably would have tried to squeeze a blitz, and it probably would have ruined me. Uh, I think it's it's probably correct not to. That blitz is. Yeah. I'm gonna dodge this guy. Assassin blitz? No, he can't. He's too weak. His AV is too weak. Mm, yeah, I mean, he's the worst. He's the worst one to get hit back, isn't he? So, <laughs> unfortunately, assassins are just terrible. Like, it just doesn't. They don't assassinate people. They just stand around. Like, what assassin stands around to get hit after they've done their job? Like, it's so dumb. Uh, I'm resisting the urge to make American. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> <It's a joke. coughs> yeah, so I think he's just going to dodge this guy, and then that'll be that. Unless he wants to leave him on the floor there, although... Yeah. Yeah. Running stab, stab, you should just be able to move afterwards. Oh, so he's blitzing with him, and then rose a one, so it didn't work. Not dead. I don't think the blitz was worth it either, by the way. <laughs> no? I don't know, like, you got one in three of power in, and then... It'd be a pretty great removal. It's a zombie. <laughs> it's not, it's not I mean, it's something. It? It's something, Jimmy. It's it something. something yeah. So this has given him the chain push into the golem. So he's yeah. just got the blitz into the golem. Yeah, this is yeah. an unforced error. Oh, what do you say that? Doesn't Maybe it's count. not an error at all. It was a bait. It was a master bait. It was a master bait. How's he gonna do this then? Going for the car. I guess you put him up. Yeah, and then dodge away. Dodge or away? Gonna, or is he gonna reinforce him with with uh, wraiths? With the wraith, yeah. I think the wraith goes in. It's not what Andy would have wanted. No, I mean I just said dodge away because that's what every every necro coach I've ever played does continuously. Mm, so yeah. I thought that was you know, what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, what can we do? God, Necro just make me miserable. <laughs> um, <laughs> this cage is is you know compromised. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an uphill with block, and then it's there we go. Yeah, I think it, they'd still compromise because now he can chain out the uh, ghoul at yeah, the back. Yeah, the problem is though is he again if you put someone in that square they're going to get surfed if yeah. he doesn't make. So, the, the, I mean, th there's an issue. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't think it's right to go for anything there. I mean, like if he double powers the wraith, then that's just an open. Ball sack as well. Well, right, no, it's not quite, is it? Yeah. No, because you've got to pin so many assists. But you would have to close it, basically. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, the witch could do some mad dodges. Get one D on the ball. Again, one it's D. Like a work, it's, it? it's a three, two, four, two, two, and it's a one <laughs> D with wrestle. Do you think that's worth it? I mean, maybe in like, the rain. In the rain, like it could well be worth it's it. It's kind of I maybe mean, worth it when you're thinking as as you know as sea bros, are you going to get a better chance? Right, I think that's the problem. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's he's he's a he's a better man than me, and he just does the. Uh, Oh, he doesn't die. He must be completely bamboozled. He must be like, <laughs> what's happened in here? <laughs> probably, he's probably like rubbing his PC, going like, UK okay, mate? I just uh, <laughs> found a golem. He's not dead. Uh, playing in Necro, against Necro, or just in general? Um, I think Necro are just really, really... Like, oh, he's cut out. Um, and, oh, you're back, hello? Jimmy. You 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 cut yeah. out for a second. Point set's been funny. So ne Necro's biggest weakness is their offense, but they're just so strong on defense. That's like, so strong. The, the thing is, it, like, if you can knock the wraiths over, and like somewhat get them like isolated away from where they need to be, like that's probably your best bet of beating Necro. But like, it's just so hard to it's so hard to hit anything because they're all movement. Like they're all um, like you got the four guard, two a stand firm, and two a sidestep. So like, and the thing is, is you want to blitz the wraiths, but the wraiths have foul appearance, um, which means you you could just be losing your blitz one in six times. And obviously, when you're hitting golems, they stand firm, so you could end up in a really bad position and you get hit back. But having said all that, like the necro offense is a little bit iffy. It's hard to manage, like your team. The problem is, as well, is how easy it is to just from, like, you know, get your own players removed as a necro. Like, you know, the rates are great, but they're only armor eight, so if they get powered, it's bad times. But, uh, how about this Surf Witch Elf, eh? Uh, yes, I think Andy will go for it as well, to be fair. Yeah, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Might not roll all the pushes. But, um, hello, oh, Tuk Tuk, this is the final. This is the final. It is just. It is uh, gonna. It's gonna leave his wolf in a sticky position there. Yeah, his wolf will be a little bit. It will be it'll be protected by guard. So, oh, do not use dodge. Has he turned dodge off? <laughs> he should have done. No, it uses the dodge yeah. skill. Oh, silly, silly sea bros. Yeah, silly sea bros did not turn his skills to manual. Oh dear. He screwed himself. Yeah. Oh, sea bros. Sea bros, sea bros, sea bros. Oh, well. Oh, he gets power. away with it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets double vowel. Brilliant no, play I'm by sea bros. <laughs> no, I'm a Brilliant stuff from sea bros there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Andy's made Andy's made some nice progression, but like the thing is, a couple of two pluses, he can throw it up. Like, but he's 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 like healthily down the pitch against yeah. these dark. Well, I mean, he got way. the high kick, didn't he? he? Got the high kick and caught it there. Like that was incredible. That, yeah. Like he could have had a kick here and gone back one turn, then two turns there, then three turns there, and he could have failed pickups in the rain. Like it, it, the the kick off result was. Unbelievably good for him getting the high kick and, and catching. And the well. catch, yeah. yeah. Um, um, the kick was lucky, the kickoff result was lucky, and the catch roll was lucky. So he got a, he got a hell of a lot going for him there. In the rain as well. Yeah, it solved a lot of a lot of potential issues for him instantly. All instant issues. Yep. Where's he going? He's just powering somebody. Pow, 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 pow. And then it's going to chain him in. Yeah, just beat him Chain off. him out. Beat him off, yeah. Problem with this, though, is the wolf is going to be based on one player that he, he can easily dodge. get hit back. He just dodge. Whoa, I, mean, I didn't like that. That's what every necro coach that I've ever played does. So that's what he'll do. I think... Because <laughs> he could have just pushed down into the wolf, right? Like, and then still had the 2D, and then... 
Or into the or into the uh, wraith and then like sidestepped around, something like that. Yeah, I think. I think into the wraith was better, personally. That will kill the wolf. I mean, like you've got. I kind of hope so. I kind of hope so, <laughs> but yeah. It's Th this this not. this wraith, right? This if you if you stab this wraith and remove it, knock over the golem. Yeah. Then yeah, then you're in you're in business. This is uh, this is like these these four here, and then this witch elf's here. This is, this could be something from the sea brawls. He's gotta he's gotta use his brain this turn. Is because this one. looks like um, he's got a lot going on, hasn't he? Like the, these four players all over here. It seems like there's got to be a way. I mean, it's, well, straight away it's a you know, four plus for a one. Do you know day, what? There, there may be a way to chain the assassin onto the ball because you blitz the guy in front of the wraith, push the assassin back, and then you've got the jump up hit with the witch. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if you can get. Because you need the, yeah, the problem is he's got sidestep as well. No, though, yeah, he? yeah. I was going to say because you need the assassin in the square on the left behind the wraith, ideally. Oh, he did oh start the stuff and KO'd him. KO'd him! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's pretty big. It is pretty big. Uh, I didn't like it as much as stabbing the wraith, just because they've all got guard, right? And then you could just punch the wolf. Like, that's the thing, the wolf was pierced by the blitzer, so the blitzer could have just punched the wolf. So what did he roll? He rolled 9 on the AV. Do you have to do you have to roll foul appearance for the stab, though? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 so good. it's like... Good shout, maybe it was correct. No, a stun. It's a stun. Oh my god, this is... I think you probably leave the witch elf down, right, as sea bros, because now yeah. it's like, it, it's got the jump up threat whenever... I don't think Andy's going to punch it. Um, uh, foul it, sorry. Despite it being a great target. Yeah. The problem is that he might be able to like, surf its body. <laughs> but, uh... Mm, uh, yeah, maybe. Yes. Yeah. If anyone can do it. Andy can. Is he going to take this 1D on the column? Seems a bit... Great. Seems like you have to. Well, it's like, uh, I guess uh, it's 50% sack, right? I don't like this so much. Gets him. Gets him. That's, oh, an armor break here could have really been spicy. Yeah, and probably just do 1D this as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two 1D powers, yeah. both really good though. Both really good to like, you know, not great odds of working, but both basically shots to nothing. If you score, it's not that bad. But if you power, it's incredible. So I, I like making them both. Oh, oh my god, the turn thing came up and I thought it was a removal. <laughs> he just flashed up like saying end of the turn. This is uh, this is getting a bit tricky for Andy now, yeah. Yeah, this, this is what I mean. Like the wolf out, the wraith on the floor. Like this is this is like in the my stump. opinion, and like knocking the golems over regularly, like so they can't actually do anything, like make blocks or something. Like they're they're just stuck, like. Mm. Yeah, this is tricky. This is tricky. I like the witch around the back, even though it's only the block witch. Gives him something yeah. to think about. This, this, this is tricky, Jim. Yeah, this is super tricky. Gets a full pow. On the assa he's had enough of that assassin. <laughs> he has had enough of that assassin. No more of that nonsense. Oh, he, might not, have had he might not have had enough of this splitter, though. Yeah, pushes Easy him in, not, pushes yeah. him out, and now he's got a blockless block to clear yeah. him off the cage. Yeah. And he's actively... A blockless block! Actually, if he just I gets the push here, he can move up the cage, can't he, a little bit? He can blitz. Oh no, he's blitzed with the wolf. Yeah. He's, he's, this is a bit... This is hard. He's lost momentum now. Losing the wolf and the... Um, oh, that's a nice getting little the rape switch. Out, he, that's a nice little lost. switch. Get the guard. Uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, okay, okay. So he's got the guard oh, yeah. on the two corners. Yeah, that's that is actually really nice. Uh, doesn't get him again. I think I think it, it might be like going back and to the direction the wolf pushed, like for the blitz, like pushing them off and then getting stuck on that. 
That was interesting. Yeah. Super interesting. I mean, he was unlucky. He was unlucky that he didn't get the power before dice, right? That's the thing. But mm, not that was... unlucky. I think mean, it's thirty each one, so it's like about fifty-fifty. So... See, boys, has got to solidify here, isn't he? Hmm. It's not one. easy. Like it's not easy, is it? He's, he's, he's got to try and power the wraith so we can power the fleshy, and then just yeah, stay in front. Does get Gets the pow. the pow, huge pow. Huge. Huge pow. We can base the ball now, living the dream of the ball base. This is this is incredible, it's not quite how I saw it going. To no armor break is really sad. The stun there really screws Andy, but Yeah, I was gonna say make sure you've got those three in a line, so yep, he fixes that nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful cars. You should have stand up the assassin ages ago. <laughs> yeah, it should have stood. Now he's got the 2D block, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. The stun on that golem is really bad for Andy. <clears throat> I'm not sure about taking the witch elf that far away, but it's, it's not bad, is it? You do have to be worried about the side switch, so oh, it's, it's better so there than, than not. Like, you do oh, have to think about the side switch. I don't think Andy's got a choice. He's got a force. Well, it's turn five. So it's not. He needs a turn where the golem and the wraith survive on their feet. Yeah. To try and reshuffle the momentum back to his way. But the fact that they keep getting knocked over now, he's lost momentum. And Seaboys is in the driving seat at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like obviously, Davos Blitz is probably going to be used on the on the Blitzer because otherwise he does, he's not really going to want to dodge. Oh, he's got to get the, yeah, he's got to get the Wraith up as well. The one in nine here is troublesome. Mm. Oh, is he dodging? No, he yeah, he could have he could have uh, Wolf Blitzed as well. E but this this beats away the uh, yeah yeah of course it could have. Oh it, what it, like it, it gone right and yeah, then, yeah, yeah yeah I yeah. don't know I don't know about that because then but this if he gets this the power pushes on the away. first one he's basing an assassin <laughs> yeah yeah this pushes and this one right. pushes away the assassin which is nice isn't it yeah but this is iffy this is the problem is he just can't push forward anywhere can he he can't no 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 he's he's, he's but uh, he's, he's really in trouble. The Seabos just needs it, to really hold the line, right? Just just block what he can block. And, uh, you know, blitz this one, block this one, block these two down, hold these three where they are. Um, punchy, punchy. That's interesting. He basically has to. Mm, there's so thing. many chains, but there's so much goddamn stamp firm and sidestep. <laughs> it just ruins everything. It's like, yeah. has he done like? Has he done the thing where there's a witch chain to chain? He can chain the ghoul onto the lodge assassin, but then it's going to be uphill. But he, he can chain the ghoul onto a oh, dark elf. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? No, he can't. Can he? he can if he steps in front of that golem and then blitzes the zombie from the side. He, he's pushing the ghoul in, but then the ghoul is in between the two guarders. No. He can definitely do it. It's just it doesn't it doesn't give him like a no. two dice or anything. So it will be a red dice. No, because he he can't he can't. If he pushed, if he blitzes this zombie, pushes this yeah, to so here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. second That's one. <coughs> and then the second hit. The second hit, he's hitting there to there and then pushes him. Oh, yeah, he could. Yeah, maybe that's what he should do. Maybe yeah. he's going for it. Because he's got this guy here, which sure well, makes no, it look like he's going gonna, for it. The zombie's got to get pushed out the back, though. Okay, he's doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. Flip me, he's going for it. Gets the push. Yep, he's going for it. Flip me. So this is uphill now, isn't it? Yep. Oh, he it? only gets the ball down. He can't really re-roll it, can he? 
Man, imagine if he got the push. You can't re-roll it for a push plus. You just can't, can you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. You'll would just fucking skull and feel terrible. So the rest of I mean, having that witch there is like... Again, you got jump up, you got... Yeah, he's not done it, he's not. Done it. The problem is now Double. this guy... I guess this guy doesn't Double get family. surfed easily, does he? So... Yeah. Double pals in the rain. <clears throat> I think it was probably better to just focus on this side and try and knock these guys down. This, but I mean, if this paid off, it was incredible, right? Like the, the chance of the payoff was there. If he got the uphill push and pushed into there, and it would have been incredible. Wouldn't it? Maybe you just don't take the block this time because you just want to keep the wraith there. I yeah, I think you you have to keep him. I think you have to occupy him. I think this was a mistake. I feel like you've got to reroll. I think he should have just. I would have definitely just let lift him there. Oh no, he's stunned as just standing there. No, I think he should. Oh no. I, I know he's just got to should put in I a guard. I know he's just got to put in a guard, but he's got to put a guard in, right? Like force him to put the guard in to get that hit. I think. Picked up two yeah, players actions, including He's a, gonna he's gonna surf that lino, surely. Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's gonna, mean, gonna surf that lino him. and then he's gonna put a lot of pressure on this. Oh so maybe he was gonna try and protect the lino by going over there, but who knows. Uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna surf this lino. He's just trying to fix well the problem is is he kinda needs to take the block with the wraith on that lino or blitzer. Um, because he needs to know if he knocks him over, he does. So now he's definitely knows that he's surfing. Yeah, he's a million percent. So he shouldn't. He shouldn't. He was always him. surfing him because even if he doesn't knock him over, he hits him with a fleshy, right? He's oh, a I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surfed. <laughs> there was no world like have, giving up an auto surf to uphill for a push. I mean, I don't know. Oh, he's not will, getting, will he's not shadowing do the business here? He's not going, he's not getting forward though, which is something. Oh, he's not even going for the surf, what? Oh, man. Didn't what? See that coming. I mean, it makes sense, like, honestly, it makes sense, Jim. Because of course it does, forward. of course it does, yeah, but I mean... But it's handy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, he, what? He did the, <laughs> he, man, did the he did the he's sensible the play instead of the surf, what? He's he's incredible, Jimmy. He's he's like a new new beast. He's got a G5 with a ghoul here, I think. No, nah, he's got the wraith. No, the, the wraith slower. Uh, I thought the wolf was going out for the left. Yeah, the wraith should have gone out left. The wraith should have gone out left, and then G5 with a ghoul at the end. Slight mistake from Dave over there. Yeah. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Someone's got a GFI. He's just not doing the GFI. Oh. Okay, he's doing it double with him. Yeah, and then he's going to G. Oh my god, he's 1 in 9. So now he's. This yeah, because now he's going to GFI with this the Oh my god, 1 in 81. Yeah, I liked it until I didn't like it. Yeah. So the ghoul could have just been in the one square back. Yeah. And then, <laughs> like, well, and the ghoul could have been one front. But I guess I oh, wanted the guard on both corners. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the goal could have just been. And it, the problem was if he couldn't get the flesh column in behind one, two, three, four. But two, so he put two. the goal there in case in case the GFIs failed. So I, I get I get it. And then in one in eighty one, you've still got him to fill. So like yeah. I, I I get the idea of it, but I, I just but the wouldn't thing is, the thing is right, if that the, much. If the goal's one square back, and then he does the double GFI with the golem, but puts the golem on the left of the goal. It still makes that dodging harder. I know it's like obviously possible, but yeah, it, but it, it adds it, he's thinking if it fails, right? He's doing it if he fails yeah. the GFIs. But it, I think it's better just to yeah. just to not because it's just not doing that much. I mean, it's doing a lot. Like it's doing a lot. It's it only a one day, right? It's one day with it's wrestle. It's one day with wrestle, though. It's a yeah. one day with wrestle. Yeah. And you obviously re-roll the first hit, right? Or it's a stab. I think it's a. Oh, I don't <laughs> know what the odds are. Oh. The stab is like forty-two percent to break, and a one day is thirty-three percent to knock it down. But you can re-roll the thirty-three percent. So I think the wrestle's better then, no? 
Well, it depends. You've got two rerolls. And then you might. You've only got yeah, yeah you've got two then, rerolls. Yeah, maybe. And then you might double power it like on the second hit yeah. as well, which you can't do on the stab. So, it, I mean, it's really fucking unlikely. Yeah, it's fi it's fifty five, isn't it? It's fifty five or forty two. So, it, but the forty two is also it is it gives you an AV break as well, which is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously. yeah, he's going for the wrestle. Good lad. Mm. It's it's not like a hundred percent. It's not a hundred percent better because it's oh my god! Bow. Because the thing uh, is, you've got like you've also got the witch to move around and stuff afterwards, isn't it? So which is pretty nice. But yeah, he gets the power. He's got to go down, and he? he's got to go towards his own end zone here. I think. Uh, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, probably. I, I probably, think he yeah, because yeah, the sideline stopping your recovery there. Yeah, 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 yeah pushing I think, him. I think it's against by a natural instinct. I would have just clicked towards the sideline instantly and then regretted it immediately oh. afterwards. Oh, and he has done gone towards the sideline. But he did think about it, and now the ball is unrecoverable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not unrecoverable, is it? This is the thing. He's out. It's But it's not easy. 3-4. Three, 3-3-2. Three, three, two, two, hand off, win. Or it's a five plus pickup because of the rain. That's pretty good. So he can he can just like uh, he can probably stick the assassin on there, right, for shadowing, and uh, and then get something out in front as well. So he can probably stop the score here. Maybe dodge off the uh, one of these players as a scoring threat. Mate, if he stops the score, you got a KO'd wolf. You got a KO goal. Yeah. And if either of those stay out, it's looking real rough for Andy. Yeah, there's there's only two players left for Andy that can reliably handle the ball, right? So, this is pretty amazing for Seabros. You've probably got to, like, put a blitzer there and a blitzer here and a player here and a player here, you know, and just, like, just spam all around his players. Base the Wraith. Probably, yeah. you've probably, you've probably got to keep the fleshy based up as well. You can probably dodge the witch elf to get a scoring threat. I like, still got two turns. He doesn't even need the scoring threat this turn, does he? He doesn't even no. need the scoring threat. You could even bring the, the witch elf back. Do you know what, Jim? Even, even failing the dodge and oh my god, he's running all the dice. Yeah, it's pretty great. Like if this scatters out, it's really good for Seabor. Well. Oh, it needs to go somewhere else. Oh my god! Yeah, that was really good for Seabros, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is what I mean, like the scatter out, because both the Agi free players are tagged. Yeah, completely I mean, uh, bracketed. The ghoul's kind of freeable, but like, where does he go? The, the, mm -hmm. I think this is the score stop, to be honest with you. It sure looks like uh, it, yeah. Unless he wants to throw a pass with a Wraith, but I don't know if that's possible, Jim. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I thought, I thought just failing the dodge on the ball was pretty good there, to be honest. Let alone trying to pick it up, just just try and get that ball out of play. Yeah. But um, I, I honestly think that the witch should have powered upwards. I guess the problem is, is he doesn't know it's going to be a KO at the point of the power, so he could just hit the ghoul up and not got the armor break, and then failed to pick up, and then it's. And the, also, the scatter easier. would have gone to the wolf, right? Which would have been. He could have just oh, caught it, it there. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, you don't know that though, Jim. No, yeah, he could have gone to the rave. But there's more the players. Rave. There's more players, right? There's there's three of Davos yeah. players there instead of two of Davos players there. So yeah, it's a hard decision, honestly. It's one that I think I definitely would have made incorrectly. Yeah, that's a great point, um, punter. It's holding a fucking scythe, and it doesn't have hands. <laughs> It's got no hands. It's got a... Also, how the fuck does it have a scythe? Like, it's surely this should have hand. secret weapon. What the? It's got a fucking scythe. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, these are the the GW minis, right? So no, no. This is the uh, this is their uh, cosmetics. He's, oh, he's actually oh, got two cosmetics. scythes. Yeah, he's actually got two. One of them's just a plank of wood. No, he's got two sides. Oh, no, no, his left hand, his left hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, his left hand is a plank of wood, yeah, yeah. But his other one's holding a scythe. Can't hold a ball, but it can hold a scythe. What a joke. I mean, you can screw a scythe into a plank of wood, Jim. 
So he's just securing this. He's got to try and get this ghoul out. So he's got a 1D and in a 3 plus dodge, I guess. He hasn't got a 1D, has he? Oh, like, no, he's already blitzed, hasn't he? He's already blitzed. Oh, yeah, it's red. Well, you could, oh, has he dodged the wolf? Could block with the wolf, can he? He's probably going to block with the wolf, or like surf with the wolf. Or no, he can't surf because he's already blitzed. Yeah, he's going to so, get surfed himself as well. Yeah, he's going to get surfed anyway, so. I guess is the thing. Oh my god, he gets the boat down. Ah, I guess I'm back now. But he's still getting. Well, maybe he's not getting surfed. I don't know. Do we uphill <laughs> that into one day? <laughs> he can't hold the side. He can't hold the ball because he's already holding the side. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to juggle sides. <laughs> oh my god, gets the full power. Outrageous. Yeah, that doesn't help his goal though. Oh, and then he hits with a golem yeah, onto the. And, then and, then he gets and the brings him out that way, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He only. Doesn't power. Doesn't get the power there. So this is also awkward as well because it means he can't get the way. He's obviously not going for the ball this turn. He's just going to. He might even just 1D. No, 2D block with the goal. Which is a bit shit, because then how's he get? He's gonna have to hand it off with a zombie. Yeah, it's he's in a he's in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, but the stun the stun on that assassin is huge because it means that like he can protect that wolf, so he's he's always got the hand off to the wolf. Yeah. This is not right, is it? Because now he can just uphill the goal and scatter the ball. He ain't uphilling the goal, is he? I don't think. Oh, I'd be tempted. You can like blitz the uh, blitz the. Oh, you can blitz that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think mean, that is the play. To scatter it, yeah. Or you could uh, you could surf the wolf. <laughs> is uh, is that's a three plus three plus? I guess it's three plus two plus or two plus and then three plus and then two D two D. Yeah. yeah. It's kind but of then I, I think I think you, mate, I go for the score here. So I've put the witch in scoring range, and then I I blitz that zombie, and I scatter that ball, and I yeah. pray. Yeah, I, I would do the same. Yeah, yeah. and there you go. Sea has got the witch. Probably should have geified, right? Because the bl the witch is blitzable at the moment. Yeah. And yeah, it's only one D, but still. Here we go. Go for the scatter. Get the power. Get the power. You gotta follow this gotta as follow, well. Yeah, hundred million percent follow. Ah, oh, that's not... uh, yeah. Which means it's a five-up pickup, right? Yeah. So, do you do anything, or do you just stand that guy up and in turn? Wow. Wow. Mm. This is. Yeah. Maybe you go for the five, me. Do you put the reroll in though? Mm. 2 plus, 5 plus, 2 plus. He should have stood that one up on the golem though, the bludger. Stood him up. He could 1D the... In fact, he could dodge away and then 2D the... Uh, no, he, he's probably got a 1D. He's probably got a 1D this... The problem rescue. is, I think, he has to, I think he has to go for the pickup because the zombie can scatter the ball yeah. instantly. Yeah, I think I think maybe I a one D though. Maybe one D this flashy. I think you dodge the guy on the wraith. Or you could one D. You can one D. No, you can't one D this guy. So you can one D the. You can one D. Oh, he's got this guy as well. So he's got two. He's got no, two he's just players. Him. He's just stood oh, him. He's just stood him. Okay. Yeah, he's just stood him because I said he should be stood up. But he could but be used. The... He could be used for an assist. He could like three two, two two. And then he could two D block him. No, he's not. Okay. Go for the pickup. Go for the pickup. Oh, for it. it's in the rain. Oh, to be no fair, mate, it's in the rain. Oh, like, no, this, is, this is pretty, even if he scatters it, this is not easy for Devo. And he now having loads, now having a loads of players around. Um, yeah, but he can scatter it. He can. He's got he a can one scatter D it, but it's still not easy, right? He's, there's loads of players around for Seabro, so even when it gets scattered, Seabro's player might just you know catch it or still be in a tackle zone. If it's still in a tackle zone, it's terrible for Devo in it. So but, he can know. he can he can blitz with the zombie on the floor, the guy on the wraith, and then follow and then he's put gone the wraith for in. It. He's gone for I, it. I think I I like to go for it. Yeah. Oh my god, he rerolled it he's as well. Got it. He's got it. I told you, man. Wow. And he's got loads of movement now as well, so he should just run to the left hand side, surely. surely. He ain't got loads of movement left. 
Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have the re-roll for the GFIs and stuff, but... I, okay, maybe, maybe you just stay there when it's... Well, hang on. Let me think about this. Just get, just get further away to make it harder for the ghoul. Yeah, he needs to get away from that guard wraith, and he needs to get away from. Okay. Yeah, he needs, to, he just needs to come down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he beat the chair. I mean, the ball being down there is okay. Yeah. The ball being down there is like okay. it's better there than probably behind. He kind of did have to do that GFI as well, so that the fleshy couldn't just block and then get an assist right, on right. him. So he did have to do the GFI there. Yeah. He had to do the GFI. And it's away from the the werewolf. I, I think I think the scores stop because the, the zombies can't pass, right? I'm not stupid, am I? No, you're not. Can't they can't pass, and neither can fleshes. Yeah. One, two. So he's three, got to get. He's four, got to get the man. ghoul there somehow. <coughs> hmm. And then like pass it to a yeah. the fleshy who hands it off to the wolf or something. Like it's really hard. Like it's re this is really hard for David. Well, does David even try? Or does he just try and one D powder witch? Try and one D powder witch, probably. Yeah. Yep. But she's got jump up anyway. Yeah, true, true. And then you can throw it to her. So he's probably got to try and just get at least people around the ball, right? So maybe maybe the zombie just standing on the ball is, is good because of the range. He's, got fr he's probably going to free the wraith and get the wraith across straight away. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can 2D and then put the wraith on the ball, I think is my first thought. And then the ghoul. The ghoul can try and pick it up at the end, right? The ghoul can dodge out and you One, can just two, YOLO. Three, four, five, six, seven, the, the ghoul can reach. The, ghoul the problem reach. is with the ghoul YOLO six plus the pass, so is the intercept point. Oh, yeah, yeah, but the ghoul can just go and get it and not try and pass, right? He's, he, you he, yeah, I the, mean, the, oh no, he can, he can blitz with like, oh god, it's hard to blitz here. I guess the wolf dodges blitz, right? The wolf dodge blitzes this guy, and then that like chains him to there. Then you block there, and that gives you the wraith around, and then the ghoul can go one, wraith two, around. three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, and get the pick up. I mean, I, I guess you can just pick up with a zombie, right, if you're not passing it. <laughs> to be fair, you can just pick up with a zombie if you're not going to pass it. But it's a Yeah, pass, I it? think... All right, you can just block with a... Yeah, so yeah, wolf blitz here into... into you know, tackle zones on the ball and attempt to pick up with Goo. Yep. Uh, that's got to be the Apo, right? That's got... Is that a Bloodjar? No, um, that's a... a Lino, right? He does yeah, use the Apo. He does use the Apo. I mean... Oh, he's blocked, yeah. he's blocked his path. Blocked his path. So that was not good. Not good from he needs, Dave or he, he needs to power this bludger, yeah. Yeah, that was not good. He's blocked his path. Oh, I guess he could uh he can do a jump. Oh so this way is so this way he saves the dodge. Oh no he doesn't. I okay, he could have saved the dodge from the girl, but hasn't. So now he's really blocked his path from dodging. Yeah, so I'm I don't not know. Sure. I don't know what his ghoul plan it's, is. That's a, huge, that's a huge power, that one. Oh, God. So how does he... I think he's just trying to see... I Oh, this is... Yeah. So I think we're just dodging that blitzer that's on the golem, and then we're blitzing with the one that's between the wraith and the golem at the top, and then we're picking it up with the blitzer that's on the floor near the ball. And then... Yeah. He might even be able to hand it off. Four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. He can hand it off to the witch, but... It's a four plus four plus pick up in the rain, yeah, and then four, yeah, you've five. got to scatter. You've got to scatter it, either one D or two D. Doesn't really matter. So he's got three, two, two, two. So uh, two, three, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you'd scatter this, would you? It's just one yeah. D in it. Oh yeah, he doesn't need to do this, Judge. Yeah, yeah. You've got to scatter. You've got to one D it for the scatter, yeah. I don't know the scatter, man. Yeah, because it's not you're not going to roll like a fucking six plus or anything, so you've got to scatter it. Well, it's a four plus pick up, then it's a three plus dodge, then it's a two plus dodge, then it's two two, and then it's a handoff on a three plus. Okay. One two three four GFI GFI. Yeah. So what is it? It's a four. It's a four three, three two, 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 two 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 without re rolls. Yeah. I mean, easy. It's happened before. I mean, yeah. Jimmy, <laughs> he has. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's... Like, 
Why did it show two ones? I don't get it. It showed two ones and yeah. he only failed one rush. I, I don't know. It showed two rushes, but then he fell in the first one. That was just bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had success rush. Oh, it was the dodge. One of the ones was a dodge, which he failed, and then he oh, re-rolled yeah. into a fire. But it just showed two ones together because... Yeah. Honestly, who has those dice? Is it you who's got those dice yeah. on? Is that why I'm... Yeah. Oh, I turn them off, mate. Like, they piss me off. Oh, I'll it. turn them off. Somebody told me to turn them on once, so I turned them off. Oh, really? They just yeah. don't make any sense. They just don't... Like, they don't ever appear at the right time. You just get a load of fucking D6s flashing up for no reason. Where the fuck is it? It's, it's D6s, isn't it? Something. Yeah, but where? <laughs> Well, go back up. We said display oh, dice. I'll rolls. do it. I'll do it another fucking time. Yeah, don't do because, it in the final. Yeah, it's in the final, in it. <laughs> the uh, Seabulls get his KO back as well. So, oh my oh god! Oh my god! The on the wall. The go on the wall. This is looking found. really strong for uh, Seabulls now. Yep. Only ten players for the table. You got to take a deep breath. Tell yourself you're great at Blood Bowl. Just <laughs> panic. <laughs> Tell yourself you're great. What what's this bizarre uh, bizarre setup from Devil? Very strange, isn't it? It is probably really pissed off at this point. Mm, interesting. It's an interesting setup. It's He's certainly probably denied the LOS. Bad. But I mean, you just stack it, don't you? After did, being denied the LOS isn't a problem because you can just stack it. You could surf that zombie as well if you wanted. And rolled well enough, <laughs> obviously. But like, pretty easy surf if he wants to. If he wants to surf a zombie. One in eighty-one was brutal for Andy, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. It was, wasn't it? But again, he could have. He could have got a slightly less stronger cage with one GFI. Rather than two GFIs under one in nine block. So yes. Well, it's a one in eighty-one block. Well, like, well, they were the one in six GFIs, though, right? So, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he did two yeah. one in six. He, he could have just got a kid with one one in six, but instead he made two one in sixes and a one in nine, which like it did make for a stronger formation yeah. altogether. But it's it was no so risk. hard though. I mean, that's that's like one of the all-time debates of Blood Bowl, like. Is it better to take a slightly higher risk for a better position, or do you leave yourself weaker by not taking the risk? Either exactly. way, you're going to end up regretting it, right? Either way, like it's, <laughs> whatever happens, you're going to fail, and it's it's going to look like the wrong decision. But well, like problem, it might, it? Yeah. it could still technically be the correct decision, right? It's mm. Hard to say. Yeah, you've got other players. It doesn't. It doesn't necessarily go. Which served at all, Jelly? If you've got, you use your whole team to do it, right? So you have. You, you make them all. Arrange them all so you don't get served back. Go on, assassin! Stab the wraith! Come on, Seabor! Don't dodge! <laughs> don't dodge! <laughs> Stab him! <laughs> so, dodge him. before the oh. pickup. Yeah, good, good. Ooh. Obviously, don't re-roll this pickup. Get it anyway. You don't see many assassins dodging away from their targets, do you, Jim? <laughs> My immersion. Oh, big Kev. Yeah, Blitz has been not being able to pass anymore. It's tragic, isn't it? it or just oh. players in general. Oh, yeah, here we go. I think the Dakar was better here, by the way. But I guess I mean Seabros doesn't trust himself to uh, to not make an irrelevant GFI. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little bit different from the original Dakar as well because the Wolf and the Ghoul are out as well. So it's it's actually probably better now than it was in the last game. But yes, um, yeah, he should have Dakar for sure. <clears throat> Once bitten, twice shy. You know, yeah. he might he might have uh, he might have some lingering uh, doubt about it. Yep. Yeah, I don't yeah. hate this. I don't, I do. I, I feel like I feel like he's in control because he's he's a player up and he's like the the thing is is the necros they look incredibly stretched now like just those two players I but, guess he's but that would happen anyway with a Dakar right like this is just yeah. getting everybody based and somebody knocked over for no benefit <laughs> like what's the benefit here you've got to two dice somebody with your blitz 
and now your entire team is based and having to dodge away and I mean okay brilliant he can move up the right hand side he could he easy. could he could yeah. and maybe he will I think he will Jim I think we're going to see him fly up this right hand side it is 10v10 yes my buddy yeah because it was a bench for the yeah it was, it was my mistake more already <clears throat> but I mean a zombie over a ghoul or a werewolf is yeah the player quality is much better for uh, removals for uh, or like or worse for Andy yeah <laughs> you know the the sub substituting on zombies for a werewolf and a ghoul is is huge even if there were still an 11 right it would still be brutal losing those two from the pitch so um, yeah. oh my god AV break unbelievable so as long as he doesn't want in 36 here, Seabros, yeah, yeah it's, the witch. Good. it's the witch that's got to do the dodge, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that guy got greasy cleats? Did he yeah. lose the movement? Oh yeah. my god, greasy cleats, why? <laughs> Just why Games Workshop? Mate, greasy cleats, molehills in a blizzard. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. We've drunkard. <laughs> We've drunkard. That's what you want. You want a Norse lino <laughs> with greasy cleats in a blizzard with molehills. <laughs> and make your 8 plus GFIs. Okay, yeah, he is going for it. He is going for it. He needs to dodge this switch, switch first. This switch first yeah, to here. Yeah, I agree. And then that other one can go in and assist the block on the yep. zombie. Yep. Yep. Oh, Ooh, squeaky bum time. It was a 1 in 9. Gill wouldn't have made that dodge, probably would have killed yeah. itself as well. Yeah. I mean, he failed another dodge there as well, all these dodge mm -hmm. fails. Mm -hmm. Kind of. On. Oh, that's all, that's One good in enough, nine he's got block. block, he's got block. <laughs> and Kaz, oh my god, oh my god, Seabros will be getting reckon, very excited right now. I reckon he's actually flexing in front of a mirror right now. <laughs> I, re I reckon the t-shirts come off. I didn't like that he's... from Seabros, by the way. I would have moved one. I would have dodged this one first, right? It's just on a zombie, and put him on there before I did that one. Yeah, keep the rave tags. Yeah, keep the yeah, rave this, this zombie's fucking irrelevant. So yeah, get do that one first. But yeah, brilliant turn for Seabros. Flip oh. me. Flip me. Unbelievable. Mate, flashbacks to Steven Gerrard. Don't let it slip. <laughs> Double pows. <laughs> Double pow doesn't oh even get God. a surf. <laughs> Dear for in tatters oh. doesn't even get a surf. But uh, no, he, he, he probably didn't want to, right? He probably just wanted to get that wraith free. That's a massive psychological blow. But even then, it's better to free the... Oh, I guess he can dodge this wraith. But then... He's going to have to, um, isn't he? Oh, to. God. Oh, God. Is he going for attrition? I mean, he can't be. He's losing. Like, I think right I, now, yeah, he's losing the game. He can't just be going for attrition. I think... Uh, I, I think, think he, he is, might, though. Yeah, I think he is just playing. He might be a little bit jaded. So yeah. I mean, rightly, like, fairly so. so. Mm. Try and remove some delves. Try and force... Oh, Oof. the balls. Yeah, oh, wow. He's just I, given I, up, I, I think. think... I think so, Jim. <clears throat> I think so. Mm. Like, I mean... It's rough. It's really rough from here. I would never give up if I got if I got a fleshy cast on turn one. <laughs> yeah. So yes, I do. I do know what it's like to give up versus Sea Bros. Um, Might be thinking of the potential one then. I mean, nah, nah. He's just he's just given up. I think oh, he's, he's just done now, isn't he? He's cooked. Mm -hmm. I reckon you blitz the wolf here. Dumbs or nah, the zombie. Just position, 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 position. Now. Oh, I don't know, Jim. But the wolf, the wolf, the wolf. Position. I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm You've being got to stall it. Now. You've got to stall it, right? You've got to stall it. So, like, the position is pretty important. So, I would really try to lock this down. No, he's he's just gonna bang on the wolf. <laughs> I would bang on the wolf. I would so bang on. The, I'm just a greedy banger, man. Oh my <laughs> god. I'd, I'd hit the wolf and foul it with my ball carrier completely exposed, <laughs> with no defensive skills, and uh, you know. <laughs> True Dimmy style. Yeah. I'll take my t mighty dope, mighty blow block plus two D. Yeah. Well, let, let's let's yeah. not be mean, guys. Let's not be mean, please. 
Yeah. Just stab the wolf. Stabbing the wolf would be pretty fun. <laughs> You're probably better off stabbing the wraith if he's going to stab anything, but. That would then foul appearance in it, so. Yeah. Got an assist for the stab, yeah. <laughs> he's literally moved an assist in to then go and stab. <laughs> Classic Sea <C> Bros. <laughs> <laughs> this was shit from Seabros, honestly. This could have been this could have been this guy blitz with block and then these two both based and then you know loads of players down here. I I'll like tell you it. what it is doing though, Jim, it is controlling the werewolf. Like having the werewolf double tagged means that he's not getting back into the backfield, which buys him a bit more time. Uh, you can just chain him off, right? Just chain him off. Well he's probably he's probably he's probably gonna block the greasy cleats guy with the werewolf for it. It's no, he should, he should probably chain off the wolf and get the wolf back. That's what I would do. He's stuck a collar on him and he's controlling him. <laughs> so get down, get down, boy. I say it's what I'd do, obviously. I would, I would have probably, I would have had a good chance of giving up like Davo did, because uh, I did give up versus yeah. Seabros in the... In, in the, the league. final, Jim. In the final. Yeah, in the final, maybe not. <laughs> I gave up in the final one time, so, you know. I mean, it's really rough for Davo, though, let's just be real. He's down a player. Yeah, he's, he's in a tough position. He hasn't really been dice or anything, I don't think. It's just... Uh, it's I, just uh, the KO rolls is probably the biggest thing, right? The KO yeah. rolls. The 1 in 81 on the zombie dot block before the um, double GFI with a golem. Yeah. And then... But, I mean, that uh, was a turn with four GFIs in, right? And then the scatter out, right? The scatter out with the ball. Well, I'm not saying he's diced. I'm just saying like mm. the the things that needed to go wrong have gone wrong, right? So yeah. it's like it's it's like it's just blood bowl, isn't it? Like it's just blood bowl. <laughs> things happen. But the one in eighty one was the big the big one, right? If he doesn't make that one in eighty one, he's yes, he uh, and, ma and makes the GFIs, then he's fine. But right? then but he also he could have just not done that. <laughs> <laughs> as well, right? Like, he could have just not had to have done that. So... Here comes the pressure. Yeah. Because he didn't he didn't do the obviously correct move last turn, so he was... And now he's just right, managed to get... first action. Stab the wolf. These. Like, it's just... He's got... You know, he's managed to just force himself... Like, weird, because the pre previous turn had looked like Dave had given up. And then Seabros uh, is like, no, you're not allowed to give up. I'm going to do my best to throw the game. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, it's it's like, still, it's, he's still massively in the driving seat. He is, he is, he is. Let's just have a quick check on ourselves here. He is, but it's just weird, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he, he's got to stall out the thing. Like, and you were the similar. You were like, right, I hit the wolf. And it's like, dude, you know, like, I, no, it's it's not over. He's got to stall out the half, especially like, yeah, given the saying... chaos. Start if he doesn't hit, if he doesn't hit the wolf last turn, the wolf is in the backfield, and then like because now he can screen and he can. Nobody's screen the side in the backfield because he wasted two players that would have been stopping that. Mm. He would have had less in the backfield. <laughs> but like he can, he can actually screen the sideline now because he doesn't have to worry about the frenzy because there's no. True, because he's he's got lucky and stuff. Like the wolf is stunned on the halfway line, yeah. yeah. So like now, he can, now he can just do a normal screen and not worry about it. Mm. So there's like I I don't hate. Uh, he's he's got to do something about this goal though. He's just got a not one in thirty six, hasn't he? Oh, where's he putting the witch? Uh, um, one, two, three. Oh, he's just not dodging with a blitzer. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't re-roll it, he didn't re-roll it. Okay, should have dodged this guy. Right, you've got to dodge yeah, this I like, guy. Yeah, I like the Wraith being based, honestly. I, I, I okay, like the Wraith. Okay, well, then that's okay then. I mean, like, I would dodge someone to base him and then dodge the guy off, but there wasn't anyone in range. I, I just, this guy could have like jumped. This guy could have jumped. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, then you're freeing up the other Wraith, isn't it? That's the mm. problem. Like, I, like. Gets proud. Yeah, he gets an injury as well. Yep, stunned. Oof. But now, like, now you can run over to the other side. 
Ooh, can you? Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Yeah, Dave was, Dave was doing well here. Right? Yeah, like, honestly, it looked like he'd given up for a turn, and then, like, he just got pulled back in, and it's like... You know, I'm not saying Seabros has played terrible or anything that turn, but he, really, it, it, yeah. he left the door ajar, right? Like, he left the door ajar, and then Devil's gone for it big style. But he is controlling the wolf. Like, the wolf is... Uh... Oh, great! <laughs> but, like, wolf what, is he, controlled. what isn't controlled is these five dudes that, that are fucking him. <laughs> he can run back, I guess, and, and then bring the wolf back into it. This, this is uh, this is. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, the stun on the uh, bludger though is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe yeah. it's an assassin. Yeah, you assassin can just dodge with everything. Right? You can just dodge with everything. Yeah, run around the other side. Yeah, run around. This is where you got like you got to not panic, thing. right? This is where I would panic. And yeah, you've got to not panic. Big not panic here. Yeah, this is like honestly, this is you. You're in the driving seat. You're controlling the game. Like it's oh, huge. Like, it always feels terrible. Huge knockdown. But like, if you told Seabors he'd be in this position, he's got a not the... score accidentally here. Auto path to here. Could yeah. Make him score. So you've got to manually is that still do it. An issue? Yeah, of course it is cyanide. It could. I'm not saying it would, but it could. It, we all know that it definitely could, right? <laughs> we all know that it definitely could. Okay, and then the it doesn't And it, now he's looking really good. So this, this was a good non-panic turn. Yep. He could also chill, cut the corner relax. here. I, I like. I preferred cutting the corner here to get him out in front, right? Could have gone one, two, three. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe even just here. Maybe here. I quite liked here. Here. I think I preferred for that witch elf, but yeah, it's fine. Then obviously he goes for that and fails it. Even giving Necro the two turns, it's not. It's not terrible. good. It's not good. I mean, it's not it's good. in the rain, though. It's, it's in the good. rain. It's in the rain. It's an option. It's an option, Jimmy. It's like. The four turn is definitely not an option. So. No. The, like, he's, he's gaining massive equity with. Every turn he manages to a wrestle here would be huge. Doesn't get it. And again, you just see Rose has all the two pluses out. Yeah. But he's got to make them all. He has, Jim. He has got to make them all. This is like this is my experience of Dark Elves just being completely miserable watching them do two pluses and <laughs> yeah yeah that's the thing like you, he is he is in a pickle like a bit of a pickle but yeah the, it solves by just two plusing every single turn yeah i like the, I like the that's dodge. that's the big dodge that's the big boy dodge so we got full carry first full carry first yeah and then like a bunch of dodges to protect him and then it's the blitzer on the top right wraith and then it's probably the Wrestle Witch. Yeah, four, I mean, four people in it, so you'd probably try to yeah. probably do the Witches first. This Witch first, because she's only before the ball. No, like after the ball. Oh yeah, but like yeah, this yeah, Witch ball, first yeah. of the other people, so that because oh, you know he's still the facing the wraith and he's yeah, still yeah, facing yeah. the wraith. I just hit it. Oh, wow, frenzy trap himself doesn't help. Oh, it's only two and a one, but still. Is he's, he's not scoring, is he? Oh, the stun Maybe is huge. Gonna, oh my god, the uh, KO. The KO is huge. Okay, now he's got a stall. <laughs> yeah, now he can just blitz with the assassin and then. Blitz with the and then. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. Safety, blitz with the witch. Safety. Block, block, block. Could even say if you can then... blitz this zombie, right? And then go to the other side of where the wolf is. Well, you can make a full cage. Oh, yeah, because the, the, the wolf can serve something on it. Mm. Oh, where are you going? Well, the witch is getting surfed next turn. Well, no, because he's going to try and tag the wolf and blitz it, probably. <laughs> uh, I, what? It's confusion! Okay, he's so just going to try and tag the wolf. Double he's tag the wolf. Around. Yeah, and then this guy, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. 
that that's the first one, isn't it? Bosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this guy's movement please. five. Yeah, this guy's movement Greasy five. Please. Oh, it's a blitzer. He's movement six. Oh, is it a blitzer as well? Yeah. So he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and then GF five. I think this is game. I think this is game. Yeah, this, like is pretty, this was a pretty good turn from Seabras. <laughs> Yeah, well, he just made the one in 36s, wasn't it? It's like, yeah, it's loads of pressure, but at the end of the day, it's Dark Elves, and if you don't want one in 36s, it's... Uh... Yeah, like, you got to, like, you know, could Div have made any of the dodges, like, a 3-plus? Probably not. I mean, he's been completely banged out as well, Jimmy. Like, yeah. that's, that's... No, I know, that's what I'm saying, but, like, you know, like, maybe there was something, like, you know, like, a uh, Ghoul could have made a dodge or something on the previous turns, like, but, yeah, probably... Probably Dark Elves, you know. Be objective. <laughs> I'm being objective. Jimmy. I know, I'm joking. I'm being like, it's objective. funnier when it's completely out of context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. Sad one for Davo because he absolutely dominated the group stage. Yeah, won every single game. We can surf the ghoul now. And, uh... and then run back to the middle. Well. I don't know. He doesn't really have to do much to get does he? He doesn't. He could also just score. Maybe there's, maybe there's one in 36. Are you going to hit the side supper? Surely not. I think he is. Surfing the ghoul is incredible, right? Like that's really, really, really tempting. Oh, he was blitzing the Wraith. And he very rolled it. No, and no, he just it. failed, he just failed, didn't he? No, no, he, 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 he re-rolled the stab, no? No, and no, he, he, he tried to blitz with the Witch and got foul appearance. Tried to blitz the Wraith and got foul oh, appearance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now... And then he punched it. <laughs> and then he, he could and have just he... punched it and then blitz something else, yeah. but... And then you got the armor break as well, which is just heartbreaking. But right this is still bad for Sea Brawls because now the foul yeah, appearance he's, he's... fail on the move has fucked him. Yeah, because the witch is in the way of that blitzer getting around. Yeah, and can't move because of foul appearance, like being actually quite good now. He might have to just score and give Dave the two turn. Mm, no. And he can't blitz the ghoul. Really, probably should have blocked the. Uh, I think the assassin comes one to the left and down. The ball goes one to the left, and then we do the three-two dodge with the greasy cleats, lad. Yeah, but a three-two seems a bit ropey, doesn't it? Well, he's got a re-roll, right? I mean, worst case, Andy gets the one D with the wolf, like yeah. on a blodger. Yeah, fair enough. Can the, this blitzer do anything? One, two, three, four, Not five, really. six, seven, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could do that at the end. Probably end of yeah. turn do this. So yeah, three, three, two. three two, put in both re-rolls. <laughs> and then uh, dodge all the way around to there. What a game. Yeah, pretty this cool. Oh, he just ended Oh, he it. just stays? Oh, he's run out of time! His time bomb's oh. gone! Oh my god! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a, it's a GFI, it's not even a dodge, it's just a GFI for one day, and he has the full power, otherwise it's game over. Yeah. But that's pretty good, yes. like 30%! Yeah, and then <laughs> it's like, uh, like all the KOs come back, we hit overtime. Well, I guess it depends where the ball goes. Right, he, ran he ran out of time, can you believe it? I can, because he's taken flipping ages. Yeah, which is fair enough. Oh, oh man, you had to do the 3 2 there. Wow, he burnt the pal! Oh. oh my god, he burnt the pal! In a relevant block! <laughs> In a relevant blockless block. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to just do the hit first, Evil. Come on. Come on, Andy, you're kidding me. <laughs> Here, Here he go. comes. One in nine. Reroll. Oh, oh, re -roll. oh no, he just he just forces the score. So he's got well, a one turn. Matter, it's, turn. It's turn sixteen, yeah. Yeah, he's got he's gotta re roll that Dave. What? Yeah, yeah, I had to re roll that. 
Quite early. What? I don't know, maybe he just wants the game over, maybe he thinks it's done. What? <laughs> maybe he just thinks it's done, yeah. Dude, it's nil nil, you've got to re roll that. Or maybe he thought it was a turn earlier or something. All these KO stay out, oh my god. Look at that, fail, fail, fail. Yeah, yeah, that now it's a dicing <laughs> on the KOs. <laughs> Them yeah, failing the right, one yeah. roll wasn't like ludicrous, it was obviously like unlucky, but it wasn't ludicrous, right? Failing two out of two, but yeah, failing ludicrous. five out of five is insane. <laughs> I mean, we've all played Blood Bowl before, Jimmy. Yeah, you have to re roll. You have to re roll that. What? Did he misclick? The one was a turn earlier. Like, maybe, right? Like, if it gives you the two turn, it's good. Yeah, crazy run out of time indeed, Kip. Okay, yeah, you have to do the 3 2, Seabrooks. Have to do the 3 2. Yeah, yeah, maybe he thought he could surf him and without scrambling. He can't, though. How many games of Blood Ball has Dave all played? <laughs> he can't have thought you can surf somebody without them scoring. Oh my god, yeah, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> Wait, I haven't surfed him. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't that a surf? Yeah, we're running out of time, Brian. Oh, well, he didn't try the one turn. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, maybe he's just pissed off. <laughs> Who knows? Danish domination. Danish domination, indeed. Confidence is all you need, Jimmy. Yeah, Seabros has certainly had the confidence this season, hasn't he? And uh, he thought he was 70% to beat Sol, and that, that confidence continued all the way through the tournament and uh, he only lost to Davo and avenged the loss in the final there you go yeah he's playing some good blood ball with uh, Seabrooks he is Davo yeah. was unlucky on that pivotal turn but yeah it took some risks and again it's it's way above my brain level to know nobody what, nobody what, knows what's right like that that's the thing that's why you know it, I mean, it's good for us as commentators, I guess, but like nobody knows anything, like anything, right? So all you can nobody do. Nobody knows anything, Jim. Nobody it's knows true. anything. It's so true, right? Until the day that, like, you know, computers get like a hundred times better or whatever, we're just not going to have a Blood Bowl stockfish or anything, right? We're not going to have like a perfect AI that solves Blood Bowl. It's like somebody wrote the the stuff of like Go compared to Blood Bowl, how many like branching trees are on, and it's like it's insane. It's insane. It's like, you know, 30 times harder and stuff and all this, and it was just like, it's just, and that's even without the dice being involved. It's like absolutely crazy. So it's basically unsolvable. It's unsolvable by AI at the moment, right? So until AI solves it, no one can ever know like what, to what the best move is or anything so all you can do is just think oh they think like i do and i think i know the best <laughs> that's pretty much all you can do right <laughs> thanks yeah. for the raid andy amazing flicky walking into a lamppost there um <laughs> play now andy play now <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry mate yeah good effort good effort and uh sea did yeah, his best great. to make it interesting didn't he by uh Getting a little bit of nerves towards the end, I think, and running out of the time, and woof, woof, woof indeed, woof, woof indeed. indeed. Yeah, but it was a good game though. It was a good game to watch, and uh, yeah, I can definitely uh, realise that it felt a bit harsh, didn't it? Uh, it felt a bit harsh, <laughs> but uh, Delves, man, Delves, they look good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dells are, Dells are a top, top team. Don't need a rules pack either, do they? So, you know. Um, whereas, like, in this rules pack was great for the Necro, right? Getting 1,200 TV, like, to spend was, was really unbelievable. Like, I, I still think Necro are the best team in this rule set. Um, but the De Dells well, are just yeah, a good I mean, team, aren't they? Dells are a good team. When they get banged out and they fail KO <laughs> When they get out, but funnily enough, when Necro get out bashed by Dark Elves, they don't do so well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we saw it three times, right? Yes. Three times, was it? Yeah. We saw you, you Diomed, was it Diomed? D Diomed did all right, actually. He got he did sideline caged, right, and then got surfed. If he hadn't sideline caged, uh, Diomed, I think, was probably favourite. But he sideline caged. And uh, got served. He got banged it. out, and he did get banged out in the end. I'm sure. 
Yeah, probably in the end, yeah. But it, the, the surf, the, the surf finished it for Diamond. So, yep. But yeah, great, great performance. Beat, beat three Necro teams in the end, didn't he? He beat, he beat all the Necro. Seabros actually beat all of the Necro in the end, right? Because he beat me in the yeah. group stage. Beat Diamond in the semi and beat Andy in the final. So there you go. So the Dark Elves did end up beating every single Necro team. And came well, close in the that. regular season of being Dave, actually. Like, that was... He did. But, but, was, for a, but for a horrendous GFI that nearly lost... It. Well, that did lose him the game. But for that GFI, he, he maybe would have won. You know, we don't know who would have won, but uh, that GFI definitely cost him it. Assassin, yeah. Funny though, isn't it? Yeah, the Assassin may be, may be good. Hey, the Assassin, yeah. The Assassin stunning the wolf. KO'd the wolf in the first half. Might as well have cast it, no regen, because it never came back. And yeah. Kate and stunned the wolf on the halfway line, which really sort of dented Davos like pressure in the in the second drive. Yeah. And then, oh no, he just blocked the wraith on it. Carried the wraith on a block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the assassin, pretty good. <laughs> and it makes honestly maybe like it was the assassin that made Davo go for the extra rolls to make a really good cage, right? Because the assassin just dodging in and stabbing you, it's pretty good, isn't it? It is pretty good, too. Yeah. Like forty-two percent to get the ball down, you know, with, with regardless of guard is ridiculous. So you you know you do want to you do want to make a more secure cage against against the stupid assassin, the stupid shitty assassin. <laughs> uh, yes, zebras. Yeah, yeah. I I wasn't actually so happy about that. Um, because I I, just thought, I was I was. Gonna do that. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna do that. Dimmy liked it. I mean, I I saw it. I just didn't like it. Dimmy liked it. Seabros liked it. Um, I liked the pick up on the ball on the uh, turn seven. Jimmy didn't like the pick up. No, I, I didn't the like pick up. the pick up. Yeah. Me. It seems that me and you, Seabros, like winning games, and Jimmy likes losing games. It's that's that's. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm getting from all this. <laughs> But I mean, that's all you can do, isn't it? All you can do is just say, like, yeah, it could have been game winning. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah, like the the payoff is huge, right? Because you get the turnover and you get the score and stuff. Might sit on wind just like a champ. Yeah, yeah, that's funny enough, isn't it? Both the Elliot and I would have both just taken the draw in the uh, in Dimmy's first game versus Sol. We would have just sat on the draw, but Dimmy went for the win. So yeah, yeah, and Seabros is well, playing a lot the, more. He is the champ, Jimmy. He is the champ. He's, yes, Seabros is the champ. Yep, the new the champ. The actual champ. The new actual Congrats champ. Me. The fifth winner. We've had five seasons, five different winners now. Uh, Andy it's could a pretty, have been. It's a pretty big one, Seabros, as well, mate. Yep. Happy for you. Yep. Well done. Yep. Andy could Thank have been the way, first player to win vote. twice. Yeah, he could have been the first. He was player close. Winner. He was close. And I, I do feel, I do feel like it, the game just slipped away from him. Like, and it was, it was all down to that one in eighty-one block before the double GFI with the golem. But I mean. It's, it is what it is. Right? It is what it is. And there you go. So commiserations to Andy. Congratulations to Seabros. Thank you very much, Dimmy. It was a brilliant having you in the booth. What a legend. I, I mate, I love the season. I love BBSL. I think it's great what you do. Keep it up. Oh, thanks. And yeah, it's, it, no, it's, all credit is to the people who take part. So thank you, everybody. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.